Hi, this is Gary with MacMost, and today I'm going to show you how to use a really cool new feature of Leopard that combines the dashboard and Safari into something called clippings. So we have our standard dashboard here, and dashboard widget developers create new widgets for this all the time. But now you can create some really useful widgets with no programming at all. So say we go into Safari and say we go to a page that we use all the time. Maybe we use uh, Google's news page and get a lot of our news from there. So say you, you, you're always looking at this area here. Oh, this is like the latest news here. Wouldn't that be great to have as a quickly accessible dashboard widget? Well, with clippings, it's very easy to do that. All you have to do is you identify kind of the area that you want. You click on the clippings button, which is in Safari now standard. And you could select a section of the page to use as a clipping, and it will turn this into a dashboard widget. So another thing you can do is you can sort of select your own spot, or you can, uh, you know, drag an area of a page. Um, I don't like to do that because uh, what this may change in size; it may grow or shrink or whatever. Uh, some pages won't, but in this case, let's just go and use this section, which is just part of the web page. It's probably a div tag in that web page if you're familiar with web design, and we'll click on it, and then we're going to click Add and it's going to add this right there instantly as a widget in the dashboard. And this is great. I can access it at any time. It'll update with uh, all the latest news in there. Um, I can uh, even do some fancy stuff like say uh, put a cool look to it like that or a frame. So nothing really big but you can do some really useful stuff with this. Uh, for instance um, you can maybe grab the the weather, create a little weather widget uh, if you don't like the one that's already included there. And we can go ahead and maybe maybe you're always looking up new areas of weather as you're traveling, so you can actually click on like maybe this and select it, um, or click on the, basically the national forecast like that, or even just the map. So if you want the current map of the U.S. like that, there you go. Now you've got a weather map widget. As soon as, as soon as it loads, there it is, and that will update. Like it's a little web page inside of a widget. So this is a great new feature. I can see tons of uses for this uh, to create some really useful things, um, and uh, I'm sure you'll think of some great ones too. It's been Gary with MacMost.com showing you the new Safari and dashboard widget clippings.